Hey everyone, I just wanted to say thank you so much for your hard work last week. Um, I have put the feedback from the class in the gratitude list, the link for that right here. If you click on this link right here, you can find your name and you can read about all the wonderful things people said about you. Um, and then, um, and then we have the, um, as I mentioned in class, I wanted to change the way that we were going to be um, uploading the final present assessment report presentation so that we could give feedback to everyone. So let me just walk through that what that looks like. As you can see, this is a forum instead of an assignment. Um, so you're going to click on that. And then you can see um, I, you've got to post your PowerPoint presentation for your report and that you're going to comment on at least three other students' presentations um, by providing positive feedback, critique, and recommendations for improvement. And these may come as a question, a comment, or a resource. So as you can see, you can hit add a new discussion topic, write your name. Um, so mine would be Rebecca's final assessment report presentation. And then in here, you know, um, I might write, please provide any positive feedback, critique, or recommendations for improvement. And then um, you just, as we've done before, you're just going to take your document and you're going to drop the file right in there. And then once you do that, you'll say post to forum. So I did that um, right here. You so see, you can see my name and we've got Rebecca's example assessment report. So I have it in two um, forms. So one is the PowerPoint. So when we click on that, it actually downloads right here and you can see the example and this is just right off the PowerPoint um, that uh, one student used. Or you can do it in a PDF version and I have that right here. And you can see I just put the slides in as, um, uh, Add the slides in as um, I saved it. I printed it with six slides per page and then PDF'd the um, document so that I could get it in there. Whichever way is easier for you. And then to reply on this, you can click on reply. And you know, this one isn't a full reply, um, but let's just edit here. So one of the things that we're supposed to do is give positive feedback. So great presentation. I like your. Um, graphs and how you referred to statistics when you were reporting strengths and areas of growth. Then, um, then so there's the positive feedback and here's a, a resource or a critique. I think you might I might think about connecting the student with a post-secondary transition student specialist at the school to think about their college and career development. And then finally, here is a resource for progress monitoring that my school uses. And then, um, uh, and then I just put easycbm.com. That is a paid, um, uh, progress monitoring program just so you know but you know it's always good to find out about these new things so now I've given some pretty good feedback to this person to the per person who had these there so then I go down to the bottom and save changes and continue now as mentioned uh, let me just go back a little bit as mentioned in the directions, you need to do this for at least three other students' presentations. Um, you know, one of the critiques that I might have for um, this presentation is it's a lot of words on the um, on the PowerPoint, and so those, you know, maybe summarizing uh, these words instead of um, just kind of cut and pasting from the uh, report would be really helpful for that person. Uh, all right, let's keep going. So. All right, so now we've got the feedback and the gratitude list where we click on this. Um, we've got some, oh, I also put together some guided meditations for you. So we're gonna click on there and you can see um, these are just, these, all the different uh, colors and numbers are just different sounds. 
Um, and then there's also some guided imagery there, abundance and the law of giving, breathing for balance. So these are just some helpful meditations that I've found over time. And I wanted to give you a little gift um, that you could take with you as well for self-care. So that's, um, that's not required that you open that or use it, but I just wanted to share with you. Uh, so you're going to upload your final presentation and you upload that right here with assessment presentation feedback forum and you need to get that done by the 26th and then um, that way everyone can give feedback and everything and then I'd like you to upload your final report right here um, by the 3rd of May. Um, and then also if you can please finish the evaluations, um, those are in Campus Portal and um, and so you your your campus portal looks different than mine, or I would go through it. But um, there is a link to the um, to the actually maybe to the uh, evaluations, um, and it's really helpful when you do fill those out. So um, I think it's under academics. You go through. You should see the Connect Edu Course Evaluation Connector. And um, when you click on that, so for me, because I'm faculty, it's just going to show me that uh, for fall term, 7 out of 10. So it only shows me how many people have um, filled that out. Hopefully all of you will fill it out, but it really is um, a helpful thing for um, for me as I move through my career. Um, and then also just to give feedback to the university so they know how you know what classes have been helpful and why so um, that takes us through that um, just a reminder so if you can get your final assessment report in by the third um, that's the very last date that I can accept um, uh, assignments because I need to get the grades done just actually right after that um, and then here's the assessment uh, presentation feedback form so those are the two last assignments that we have as always if you have any questions comments or needs please uh, reach out to me I am um, I am available and around still for you so and I would love to help you so that um, you all do the very best that you can in not just this class but in your career have a great day